Everyone wants to let their dog enjoy the outdoors, but you also want to keep them safe. Go on. The Pet Safe Stay and Play Wireless Fence lets you create up to three quarters of an acre that's safe for your pet to enjoy at home or away. This video will walk you through how to set the stay and play system up so that your yard can become their playpen and you will have more peace of mind. The system works for pets weighing at least five pounds, but it's great for small and large dogs. It works by transmitting a radio signal that creates a circular containment area. Your pet wears a receiver collar that signals him if he tries to leave the boundary area. Once trained, your pet can roam freely and safely in the containment area. To set your system up, choose the location for your transmitter. Consider your yard and the area you want your dog to be able to enjoy. The transmitter is in the center of the area. Place the transmitter at least two to four feet off the floor and in an area that is dry and well ventilated. You may wish to mount the transmitter on the wall using the mounting template on the back of the transmitter. The unit should be at least three feet away from large metal objects to get the maximum coverage area for your pet, but also near a standard wall outlet. Remember not to place anything on top of the transmitter. Switch the unit to low if you want the area for your pet to be less than 45 feet, and high if you want it to be greater than 45 feet. The receiver collar that your pet wears is rechargeable. It's a quick charge unit and will have a full charge within about two hours. This will last two to three weeks, depending on how many times your dog challenges the boundary. Fully charge the unit before you begin testing your system. The receiver collar comes with long and short contact points. If your pet has longer fur, use the longer contact points. Install these using the wrench provided. To turn the receiver collar on, press and hold the mode button for five seconds. The indicator light will turn on. You will press the same button to turn the collar off. With the collar on, hold the test light tool provided on the probes. Now walk out into your yard. The collar will flash and beep as you reach the boundary area, and the light on the test light tool will illuminate. You can use two people to make this process easier by having one person in the yard with the collar checking the boundary and one person at the transmitter adjusting the zone. You can adjust the boundary size up or down to make the area larger or smaller. Have one person stand with the collar and test tool at the desired boundary line. Have the other person at the transmitter set the boundary control to eight and slowly turn the dial down until the collar beeps. Communicate with each other when the collar beeps. If the boundary area isn't the size you want or falls outside your property area, adjust it to fit your needs. Once you have the boundary area size you want, place flags along the boundary line. You will use these flags to help train your pet. This is covered in our video on training your pet to the stay in place system. Getting the right fit of the collar is critical for your pet's safety. Make sure the collar is snug and the contact points are touching your dog's skin. But never pull the collar putting pressure on the probes against your pet's neck. Here are some important things to know about the receiver collar. Make sure you remove the collar from your pet at night. The collar should not be more, more than 12 hours per day. Clean the collar probes regularly. To get the best battery life, recharge the unit only when it begins to blink red, indicating less than 20% battery life. The unit will blink yellow at 60 to 20% battery life and green when it is full up to 60%. Pay attention to the light colors to know when your unit needs recharging. When charging, the light will be solid red and will change to solid green when it is fully charged and ready to go. When you get ready to start training your pet, you should begin with the collar on the lowest correction setting and increase it only one level at a time until you find the right level. The collar has five levels of correction and a tone only setting. The number of times the collar light flashes red indicates the correction level. The level you use will depend on your pet and their temperament. You can use your own collar with the receiver. It must be three quarters of an inch and non-metallic. To do this, remove the original collar and thread the new collar through the loops. Never attach a leash to the D-ring of your own collar, as this will put pressure on the contact points against your pet's neck. If you have more than one pet and need additional receiver collars, these are available for purchase at PetSafe.net and many pet specialty retail stores. Another great feature of this system is its power loss alarm. This is to alert you in the event your power goes out or the unit is accidentally unplugged. 
It will remind you to bring your pet inside until power is restored. To turn the power loss alarm off when it activates, you can either unplug the power adapter from the transmitter or press the alarm disable button and hold it for five seconds. Once you have charged your receiver collar fully and your system is set up as you would like it, you're ready to start training your pet. This is covered in our video on training your pet to the stay and play system. We know you're going to enjoy the stay and play wireless fence. If you have any questions during setup or training, please contact our customer care center. They're standing by to help.